is it's gonna be pretty simple and straightforward. I'm gonna show you the best settings which you can use if you have a Ryzen 1700, a GTX 1060, and a connection of six megabytes, roughly six, seven-ish megabytes. Yeah, wait, let me do, let me quickly do a speed test. And my upload is, why is it so high? What? 10? It's normally not around 10. But anyway. These settings apply if you're going to be using 720p 60fps. If that's the quality that you want for your stream. So I'm going to start off with... Around general. I leave everything the same. In general. I don't do anything. Okay, and that's my stream key. You can put your stream key here output now here's the important part output mode you go to advanced then it's going to show you this section now you want to come to this section for streaming let's start off with encoder even though i have um an nvidia card it does offer nvenc but then i I'd rather not use it and I'd rather use the the traditional X265 X264 sorry this is unticked I rescale my output why do I do that okay rescale output is unticked then rate control is CBR now for bitrate best bitrate you can use for a 720p 60 FPS stream is 4000 between 3,500 and 5,000. Anywhere in between there is fine for 720p, 60 FPS. Now, if you're trying to go to, um, if you want a 1080p stream, 60 FPS, you're gonna have to crank this up to like, I'd say like six. But since we're doing 720p, 60 FPS, we're gonna leave it there. custom buffer size I have no idea what this is so I just like leave it now for CPU usage preset I put it on faster normally people put it on very fast but since Ryzen 1700 is good at dealing with is good at multitasking you can put fast or faster either works pretty well then come to audio. I leave everything as default. Now, this is where you actually output the 720p 60 FPS. So here it says output scaled resolution. Here, here's where you want to put 720p. Then for 60 FPS is at common FPS values. So you can choose the, the frame rate which you want for your stream. You can choose 30. 59 or what the nt what who uses that but yeah i put 60 fps that's the best quality you can get for your stream that's if you're not asking for too much from your pc okay here we have the hotkey section i don't i don't use this section but if you if you want to like switch between scenes and do all that fancy stuff you can put in your keys here now since my processor is pretty decent i put it at above normal instead of normal and it can and it can handle that so if you have a ryzen 1700 you should do that video format rgb code i leave that the same yuv color space 611 partial i don't do anything else to here so this is mainly to show you the the settings that you need for streaming so we'll just like this is that's all you need for this video you don't really need a buffer size but i was just like testing it out to see if there's any difference and this didn't make much of a difference to the stream so if you want to see 
how this looks like in an actual stream you can go ahead and go to my twitch.tv slash the lazy bum one however the the quality of like past broadcasts like looking at previous vods like the quality isn't as good as when you were streaming so take that with a pinch of salt but yeah head on over there see how it looks and see if you like the settings 